I'm Carrie, and thank you for joining me here at Student Loan Chit Chat. All right, I want to talk today about one of the things that caused me to have such an incredibly large student loan debt. As you know from just a couple of videos earlier, I have been told by my loan servicer, FedLoan, which I believe now is Mohila, okay, but in my case, I'm still dealing with FedLoan, that July, this being the month, I no longer owe student loan payments. I have reached my 120 10 year requirement for public service loan forgiveness. And of course that was assisted because of the temporary waiver. As I want to remind my audience, you need to get that application in before October this year, okay? Um, but one of the reasons my debt went up, for many reasons, but we're just gonna focus on one here for this video, is I went from about $80,000 in student loan, which yes, is a ridiculous number in itself, and as you know, the final principal balance is 108,000, which is going to be forgiven tax-free. But one of the things that caused that is I bought in to the idea, partly, that student loan debt is good debt. That somehow or another, we have you know the, the list of bad debt, and I'm sure we've all heard about it. Bad debt is credit card bills, bad debt is a car that you can't afford. But good debt, house. Um, never mind that the house might be overpriced for you, student loan debt. So that's why I want to pause, student loan debt. I am sure, especially those of you who have um, been to college, you have heard probably some administrative salesperson, especially if you were at the for-profit schools, um, say to you something like, oh, but student loan debt, that's good debt. That's the debt you want. That's the debt that's going to improve your future. That's good debt. I'm here to break it to you, folks. Student loan debt is a debt like any other debt you can own. I do not care, having been you know in the world of student loan debt now for close to 20 years and I'm now finally getting out of it I don't care about categorizing it anymore as good debt or bad debt to me it is all simply debt it does not matter if I'm sending out a you know $500 paycheck a month to a student loan company a car company a mortgage company a credit card bill whatever it is still $500 I think one of the things that happens, and I believe is still happening, is that students are being told that somehow or another, this is good debt. Student loan is great debt. Well, let me tell you something, especially for you young people out there that may not be aware of this, you can't file bankruptcy on this so-called good debt. It is next to impossible even possibly through death, especially if you've co-signed for somebody that unfortunately passes away, okay? There is really no getting out of student loan debt without an official court order. And I've even seen um, YouTube video documentaries where they had one woman with a brain tumor. She underwent brain tumor surgery. They still told her she had to pay her student loan. So my thinking is, if student loan is such a great debt, then how come it cannot be discharged in bankruptcy? Now people may say, well, that's because you're gaining, you know, education and knowledge that you can't take back. Okay, I'll, I'll buy that. But if you eat a restaurant, um, can you give them that meal back? Because you stuck it on your credit card. If you've watched a movie, can you return that? If you went on vacation to the Bahamas for a week, took a plane trip, went kayaking, whatever. Can you give any of those life experiences back? If we look at student loan debt as a life experience, Experience, okay, we look at it just simply as a life experience that's costing money. Is that really any different than any other life experience that somebody might undergo? Perhaps traveling the world, could that be a life-changing experience? If you stick it on a credit card, did you know that you can go bankrupt on it? Yeah, you can. You can go bankrupt on that world traveling life experience. Here's the thing. I think part of the reason, speaking for myself, that my debt climbed so high, and there were many reasons, and we're not gonna cover them all in this video. But part of it is I bought in, in my early 30s, that the student loan debt was considered good debt. That somehow or another, that this good debt was gonna keep me safer. It, it was going to be justifiable. 
well, this is a good debt that I'm going to borrow the money and I'm going to use it partly to live off of, pay other bills, perhaps buy me some transportation, whatever. You know, I'm stressed out with college exams. I just need a break, need to go do something fun. I can honestly tell you none of my student money was ever spent on anything fun. It was only spent on necessities. But there are people who do take their student loan money and spend it on something fun. Not judging, just simply saying, okay? I never spent it on anything fun. But somehow or another, we are told um, that getting into student loan debt for some reason is okay. Like it whitewashes the seriousness of the debt you're actually in. If you owe $10,000 on a student loan debt, to me that is no different than owing $10,000 on a credit card debt. In fact, uh, my credit card limits are actually lower than the going rate on student loans. So which is actually the better debt? A 0% or 2% credit card interest or student loans, which talking to my friends are running around four, five, six, I've even heard seven, eight percent interest, depending upon the type of federal loan the uh, student is in. So I think one of the things that we need to really look at and something that I would encourage young people, especially young people, to look at. Because somebody like me, I made the mistakes and I've already been through college and I was coming back to get two master degrees and still made the same mistakes. Okay? And that is don't take away the seriousness of borrowing money under the guise or the pretense that somehow or another this is good debt. This good debt is not going to save you financially if you have more of it than you can pay off. This good debt, student loan debt, unlike bad debt, credit card bills, unlike a car that you can give back, whatnot, this good debt is not dischargeable in bankruptcy. It is not easily gotten rid of. It will follow you all the way to the grave. Don't believe me? Look up articles on it. It's all over the internet. So I think one of the things that happened with me is that I bought into that somehow or another this good debt was something that I could justify. But in reality, it wasn't any more justifiable than any other debt that I got into. Now then, if we want to talk about the value of an education, whether or not, you know, student loans should be taken for school, that's a whole different chit chat and a whole different video. But what I really just want to focus on is that student loan debt, you need to really treat it like any other debt. You will be working two jobs, okay, and I know a lot of people do, and I've been working two jobs too, all right, so you're not alone. But working two jobs is no more fun when you go home and say, well, wow, you know what, I, I'm working two jobs because this is good debt. Think about that. You're going to feel any different than if it was bad debt? The bad debt, you could at least, you know, go bankrupt on it in court. But on the good debt, you got to keep pulling that job whether you want to or not. So don't get fooled into thinking that the student loan debt is any different of a category than any other debt. It's a debt. It must be paid. And it is, in my opinion, probably the hardest debt to get rid of and the hardest debt to um, recover from. So I really, really want you to change your viewpoint when someone says to you, oh, well, go ahead, take a student loan out. It's good debt. No, when you're flipping burgers at two different restaurants trying to pay off your student loans, trust me, you're not going to think that that is great debt. All right, well, that's it for today's Chit Chat. Thank you for joining me. I'm Carrie. This is Student Loan Chit Chat. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will keep you posted on any and all student loan news as fast as I can. Thanks.